illnesses are becoming increasingly resistant to antibiotics. This is because modern antibiotics function by destroying bacteria, thus putting an immense selective force on them. This leads to mutants that are resistant to antibiotics. Clearly, antibiotics aren't working right now. We need a new solution. Luckily, there is one. It's known as quorum sensing inhibition. In order to understand how quorum sensing inhibition works, we first need to understand how bacteria communicate. Bacteria are constantly sending and receiving signals. These signals are known as autoinducers. They are received by a receptor protein on the bacteria that fits together with the autoinducer like a lock and key. The fact that they fit together in this way is important because it means that the bacteria can only receive signals that are designated for that receptor. Bacteria have two types of receptors, one for signals specific to their population and one for a universal signal. This messaging system is used by the bacteria to count their population density. How many bacteria are there relative to the host? Once a certain population density is achieved, the bacteria will coordinate and initiate a group response, such as virulence. This process of communicating through signals in bacteria is known as quorum sensing. Why is this important in the realm of antibiotics? If we can stop the bacteria from receiving signals, then we can stop them from coordinating to initiate virulence. In order to stop the reception of these signals, a molecule similar in structure to the autoinducer can be synthesized. A key difference is that a slight change is made to the autoinducer enabling it to jam the receptor and inhibit it from receiving signals. These molecules are known as QSIs, quorum sensing inhibitors. A population specific QSI, say for a toxic shock syndrome bacterium, would only inhibit the receptor for the toxic shock syndrome signal. This would prevent the bacterium from communicating with the rest of its population and thus stopping the bacteria from coordinating all at once to release the adverse effects. Another option is a non-population specific QSI. This would jam the receptor that receives the general signal molecule for all bacteria and would be used as a broad spectrum antibiotic. What is to say that QSIs won't also create resistant bacteria? Well, this communication system is ancient. Because it is ancient, it is unlikely that a bacterium could somehow evolve and radically change the system. So who knows, maybe in a couple of years, the talk of antibiotic resistance will have died down and we'll be silencing bacteria instead of killing them.